do you know what time it is? That is right, it is story time. We are back with those naughty bears. Let's see what they have been doing. I think we are now going to find ourselves at the beach. Let's see. Flossie and Ginger at the seaside. It was a hot summer's day and Ginger and Flossie, the two teddy bears, were on holiday at the seaside with the children. They'd all been playing hide and seek in the towels and rolling down sand hills. <coughs> but, now, <coughs> but now the children were going into the sea for a swim. You guard our buckets and spades, they said to the bears. We'll be back later to build sand castles. And with that, they skipped over the wet sand and into the waves. I wish we could swim, said Ginger. I'm so hot under all my fur. Perhaps we could cool down in the sand, said Flossie. Let's build a sandcastle big enough to get inside. <clears throat> the two bears set to work at once. They dug and dug. They filled their bucket over and over again to build tower upon tower. Then, while Ginger worked at the castle, Flossie dug up a deep moat around it and joined it to the sea with a long canal. It filled with water every time a wave came in. And the whole thing looked just like a real castle. Flossie and Ginger put four towers on the four corners and then made the towers look like four teddy bears with pebbles for eyes and noses and shells for ears. We'll call our castle Teddy Towers, they said, and wrote it in the sand. Phew, I'm really hot now, said Fluffy. The castle is nearly big enough to get inside, said Ginger. Just one more spade full. But as Ginger pushed his spade in for the last time, it hit something hard. With his paws, he dug down to see what it was and came up with a ten pence piece. Oh, whoopee, cried Flossie. We can go and buy ice creams now. I'm boiling. That's a very good idea, said Ginger. I'll finish this off while you go to the ice cream man. Flossie marched happily up the beach, carrying the ten pence piece. She found the ice cream man standing by the heap of deck chairs. She knew it was the ice cream man because he had a sign saying, Nice cold ice creams, 10p each. Flossie looked at the money in her paw. It was only 10 pence. That meant she could only buy one ice cream with her money. Oh dear. One ice cream would never be enough to cool down two hot bears. Still, it had to be better than no ice cream. So she marched over and offered her money. She arrived back at Teddy Towers, carefully carrying the precious ice cream, and explained to Ginger that ice creams were 10 pence each. They were just about to decide who had their first lick, when a man and woman came over to them. Excuse me, they said. We've just come to tell you that you've won the best sandcastle on the beach competition. Flossie and Ginger stared in amazement. They hadn't even known there was a competition. Thank you, they said. How exciting. And your prize, said the woman, will be an ice cream each for each day of your holiday. Here is today's prize. And she handed Flossie two more ice cream cones. Goodness, laughed the bears when the people had gone. A little while ago, we had no ice creams, and now we've got three. What shall we do? Well, I know what I'm going to do, said Flossie, and she sat down in front of Teddy Towers to enjoy her prize. And I think they were so hot, they managed all the three ice creams, don't you? And here, Flossie is sitting down with her ice creams. So there was our story today, all about two little hot bears who managed to get some ice creams because of their good thinking. So I hope you enjoyed that story as much as I did and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!